Hello everyone. Hello. My name is Thurza P. Cox and today is December 3rd, 2018 and it's a Monday. Well, I wanted to let you guys know I had gastric bypass surgery on November 26th. It was one week ago. So today I am one week post-op. And I want to tell you guys that um, in order to even qualify for the surgery, you have to be at least you have to have at least a 35 BMI or higher and your BMI is your body mass index and you have to have at least two comorbid comorbidities like diabetes, high blood pressure, sleep apnea. So, um, oh guys, um, I know it's been a long time since I posted a video. Um, but that's okay. I feel great. Even though I just had my surgery, uh, I feel like a little fatigue here and there. And I feel a lot of pressure in my stomach. Especially when I drink water. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know, every day gets better. And I wanted to um, also tell you guys, to qualify for the surgery, you need to have blood work. You may have to have an upper GI or an ultrasound of the bladder. You'll have to have a pulmonary function test. You have to be have a pulmonary clearance, you need an EGD, a sleep study, cardiac clearance, you need a psychological evaluation, and you need a letter of necessity from your primary care physician. Um, as long as you have all that stuff, you can be cleared for surgery. Well, I have CareSource Health Insurance, and the whole process itself, you have to see a dietitian for six months, and um, I went to a place called Mercy Weight Management in Toledo, Ohio. My doctor, my surgeon was Dr. Foreman and he performed my surgery at St. Vincent's Hospital, Mercy St. Vincent. Um, I had no complications. My sister, my twin sister was there with me on the day of surgery and also one of my, my, my good friends my guy friend, um, he's actually my ex-boyfriend, but he was there with me, and I really appreciate those two for being my support system. Um, well, uh, when I actually got the call that my insurance had approved me for surgery, it was in October. And I only had to wait one week and two days. It just took a week and two days from my last appointment in October with the dietitian. And I got approved for the surgery. My insurance approved me for the surgery. And I had the surgery over a month later on November 26th. And, um, well, I had to go on a diet. <laughs> it changed some things, you know, but I wasn't as hungry. Um, I wasn't 
as hungry as I had expected. So that's a good thing. So I wasn't starving like I expected. Um, it was actually tolerable. So that's the main thing. That's what's important anyways. So they say as long as you don't gain any weight, You'll, the process runs smoothly. But if you gain weight from your initial weigh-in, like the first day you go in to meet with the surgeon and the nurse practitioner, they, they weigh you that day. And that's your starting weight. If by the end of six months, you weigh more than your starting weight, then you will have to lose weight. And um, I actually lost weight, but I was working on it now. I was working on it. So my starting weight was 288, and that's my heaviest that I've ever weighed. So 288, and then I, I lost, I, you know, from the day before surgery, the day of surgery, rather, I weighed 254. So my starting weight was 288, and my weight on surgery day was 254. But I had been working on my weight the whole time. So, um... That's why my weight declined. And they say, the doctor said that it looks better for the health insurance if you lose weight while you're on their program, the bariatric program. So I'm thankful that um, I have a chance to live a healthier life. And, you know, I do expect some weight gain through the years. That's expected. Um, I don't expect to wear a swimsuit. You know, I'm not um, going to wear a bikini anytime soon. I don't believe I'll ever wear a bikini. Um, I expect to lose about 100 pounds. And I expect to gain about 20 pounds back over the years. And, you know, the things that I expect, it may not be exactly that way when it really comes down to it. Because I expected a lot more pain from the actual surgery. And all I have is a lot of discomfort and pressure in my abdomen. And it does not really hurt when I cough and sneeze or laugh. I expected it to be more painful than what it actually is. It's actually um, done robotically, the surgery itself. And I have about five small incisions in my abdomen. And um, well, right now, the incisions are all bruised so I have these bruises on my belly right now but other than that it's not that bad um, I don't feel any nausea and I don't have any vomiting it's just mostly the pressure and discomfort that I feel in my belly from day to day this is just the first week so, yeah, I feel pretty good. I've been able to run errands and walk around, and I feel pretty good. I'm trying not to overdo myself, but other than that, I'm doing very well. So, everyone have a beautiful day, and today is December 3rd, 2018. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.